I'm going to send an email to the sheriff. Let him know. Oh, I'm about to go see Joe. You ain't got a problem with that. Okay, what's your name? Go ahead. I've already, I've already, go ahead. Well, tell, no, I'm serious. I'm going to send an email. Cause I'm he gonna knows who I am. Oh, I'm not going to call him. I'm going to go right over there. Okay. Because he's got some personal property of mine that he's not he's supposed to be in his possession, too. I don't know if he's here today. I don't care if he's here or not. I'm, I'm going to go over there and ask for my property back. Come on, let's go. So, can you explain to me what the procedures are, why I cannot get I a video you, from I them? I can tell you who to contact. contact okay, go Captain ahead. Captain Terry. Captain Terry, I've already I've talked to him, too. Or, go through internal affairs, Captain Tochek. Captain Tochek, is that, is, that, is that HR? No, that's, that's Captain Affair. Campbell. Yeah, yeah. Captain, that's Captain Campbell. Uh-huh. You know who and then is Angela that Bennett, is in charge of Michael problems, Tool. Right? No, who? That's Angela Bennett. Oh, yeah, I've already talked to Angela several times. She's the one I filled out the forms with, got it on pictures and video. Yep. I've done it several times. Not one Promise copy of any video. video has ever been sent to me. Nope. I've requested in person, documentations, yep. got yep. everything again and again and again. Yep. I've already been over this have with Angela. Have you talked to her in person? Yes, I yep. have several times. I was actually out, outside this courthouse two I'll weeks ago and stopped. She actually approached me and asked me how I was, and I said, you got some nerve. Yep. What's your name? Should I tell her I talk? My name is Jayla. Jayla? She knows. J-E-L-A. J-E-L-A. She knows who I am. That's mm -hmm. what I'm sitting here telling you. Uh, Hoggard, Sergeant Hoggard, it's nice to meet you. I'm not trying to be a bitch or, or nope. get in anybody's way. I'm just trying to get some answers to some questions because this is ridiculous. I've been going through this like since Like how I got a violation of protective order for an order that doesn't exist. And I have requested documentation over and over and over. And I see that little tyrant standing down there too. I'm just waiting to get him. arrested at this point. Again. I see him. He's standing down there. I, but uh, nobody's put me in handcuffs yet. Officer standing down there. Is that another officer? Okay. And I'm tired but of people standing stalking right in me front and watching me. me from a distance. It really bothers me because I've been followed repeatedly. This is ridiculous. That I, this is all public record information, and I can't even get a video. Nope. And I've actually been charged with an assault charge. This yep. lady said I assaulted her in the courtroom back on July 9, 2018. How does that happen? Who's your attorney? He, Bobby, Bobby Hallett was my attorney at that point. We tried. Bobby still we my tried. attorney. We still can't get him. I can't nope. even get the dash cam footage that was that was supposed to be presented in court during yep. the trial. I couldn't even get that. Nope. I got slammed on a double jeopardy charge with that. Twice. Twice. And I've been slammed on a double jeopardy charge twice. Yep. So uh, you know what I'm already doing about that. You gotta go to the sheriff. That's what you gotta do. What is Joe gonna do? He don't do a damn thing. He's, he's half corrupt him damn Joe self. won't even talk to me. The whole damn city of Norfolk put another say, corrupt. Don't tell you all I don't, right there. I don't care. Just bet it's me. freedom of speech. Nice. I know. I know. But I'm just letting you know. I, I can say. I can say it. It's freedom of speech. I already know how this department works. I know how corrupt the city of Norfolk is. Uh -huh. I've been through the system. You have no idea what these people have you done to me. Name, so you You're not the one who kicked in my front door, no warrant. Yep, no warrant. I have no problem with Couple you Couple of guys. times. Gunpoint. I know how half the deputies feel about him. I've already talked to him. Okay, it was nice meeting you. Is there anything I can do for So I want to know how policy and procedures not being followed by their own deputies. Yeah, Bobby Allen, either subpoena it or you can file it. I have a new attorney. Bobby's still working on some of my case for lawsuits and stuff. I have a new attorney. Information too, right? Have you ever tried that? I have. I'm just asking. I don't know. I just met you. I know. Do you think I haven't been trying this stuff since 2017? We're in 2019. We're getting ready to go into 2020. We are. We are. And now. Now. Okay. Well, good luck. That's all I can tell you now. Good luck. All right. I try to help you. So I was like, you're already talking to the right people. And I still haven't gotten. I mean, I'm going Nothing. above. I've been going to your boss, and your boss still hasn't done anything. Your boss is Joe Barron, and he still hasn't done anything. He just sweeps it under the rug. So here I am standing here with YouTube on my okay. on my side. Well, I've known him for 30 years, and I've never known him to sweep anything under the rug. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. He's a really good. You may not like what I say, but I'm, I'm not going to lie. Obviously, you, you know him on a different level from what I know him. Okay. All right, Jayla, you take care of yourself. You take care of yourself, too. I'm yelling. You're, you're, you're more attractive when you're not yelling. All right? Thank you. I appreciate that. So let me ask you this. How come something that's public record I can't get access to? How does that work? If it's public record, you should be able to get exactly. access to it. That's my point. You know, so why are they telling me I need a court order when it's public record? Who's telling you that? Captain Campbell. Captain Campbell? Yeah, I got it on video. Would well, you like to see it? What you do is you get Bobby Hallett, your attorney... To file a court order or a subpoena and get it. But why should I have to do that when it's public record? Well, I mean, sometimes, I mean, it's not that hard. Bobby Hallett can do that for you pretty easy, I would think. 
Well, it's, 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 it was public my case. record. I represented myself. I don't so need a court order for public record. I was the attorney on my own case. I should be able to have access well, to that any time I want. Well, doing it if it's public record. How do you right. Know doing it? You got to ask me. Did you ask him? Yes, I did. He told me I had to go get a court order. Yeah. Why should I have to do that when it's my case? It's public record. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. I understand totally. I Does that know. make sense to you? Yeah, it makes sense. It does? I filed the FOIA request. No, no, what you're saying is... <laughs> oh, what I'm you're saying. saying it makes sense. Exactly. So, can that's how I got a book. Can you do me a favor? So, let me ask you this. How does the jail keep get to keep somebody's personal property and not give it back? Right. Did you get a property release form when you Yes, I did. Your... They gave me everything that was on that release form except for one shirt. So, you're missing one shirt? I'm missing one shirt. You know and this why? other officer doesn't know what to say. Because I was helping Neil Bradley run his campaign. That was one of Neil Bradley's. Neil, Bradley. Neil Bradley's running against Joe Barron in the last campaign. He was right. running for sheriff. He was sheriff electee. Yeah. So I had on one of the sheriff's shirts that had Bradley on stop it. Stop filming me. You're making me nervous. I'm filming me, actually. Oh, Yo. So he I said, stop my filming me. You're making me nervous. You got jail the last time I got out of yeah. jail was uh, when I pulled yeah. that double jeopardy. That was in May last year. You with her? You with her? Uh, yes. Sir, how are you? I'm with William. So I would, like, I would like my property back. Okay. When, did, when did you get out? The last yeah. time, May. May? Can I look at it? Can you give me a chance to look into it? Yeah, so can you, can you get my, my name? Can you get my can you get my shirt back, please? I'm gonna try. If you got if it's in here, I'll get it back. I'm pretty sure Joe has it at his house. Yep, is, it's at his house. No, no. Jail, you know where the shirt is. Uh, Go search his house. I'm just saying, mm -hmm. I'm just saying. That's my personal property. He it probably set that, that bitch on fire. Sheriff's deputy shirt. Just to get rid of the evidence. He knows that he has it. It was never returned. You are not allowed to keep anybody's but criminals property always your keep evidence. Name. That's a no no. I'm pretty sure. I know the sheriff. I've never seen him wear a woman's shirt. Ever. It's not a woman's it's shirt. It's not a it's woman's a shirt. It's a sheriff's deputy shirt that has Bradley on it. It was a campaign shirt, I and I would it. like to have it back. I got you. Uh, hey, sir. He actually would never even see that patch. Yes, he did see it. Yes, he did. And I'd and like I the body cam from that right, night, too, too as well, because I want to know which officer it. took it. You guys have a nice day. Thank you. Take care. How long would I expect to return? Would you like my Would you like my phone number? Would you like my phone number? He doesn't have my phone number. Yes, call you at the security. The security threat unit in the jail. Okay. Thank you. Security threat unit. Have a good day. Now, after he saw that I posted the video, he didn't want nothing to do with me after that, which was very interesting. So you're willing to help me, but because I made a YouTube video and put you on YouTube, you didn't want to help me no more? That I find a little odd. What's so scary about a camera? Everybody gets so weirded out about cameras. I have no idea. I get no idea why people get so freaked out about cameras. You're in public. You have cameras around you constantly. What is a threat about my camera? What's so threatening about a video? But it was true. Every bit of it was true. I never got the videos. The ones for the assault. The ones where she faked everything. I never got any of it. I had requested these. Fo I had put in FOIA requests. Got pictures of the FOIA requests. Took videos of them. Everything. I put all this on my YouTube channel. It's so weird that these videos are saved i don't know where they're saved to they were supposed to be saved to my youtube channel but they're not there i just happened to come across this i don't even know where the hell i found it but i had to re-record it and now i'm going to post this to my youtube channel so bicycle have a good day stalkers they got busted lying in court and it's all on video hmm Wonder where all the body cam stuff is, too, from all the police officers that were in court that day. All the sheriff's deputies, because I remember the deputy who walked out of court behind her, he had on a body cam. So that would prove, too, that she lied about the assault, too. Not just to mention all the cameras in the courtroom and in the hallway. She walked out of there just fine. Oh, for sign her fake-ass cane and her arm braces that she always wears to court. So that would prove that, too. Damn. Really want those body cams from the courtroom. Really want that camera footage. I really want all this stuff. I really want the courtroom footage from the January 10th hearing. I want that, too. 
This lady is psycho. Psycho, psycho. Narcissist. For real. Psycho shit. Her and TC both lied their asses off. I would love to have the courtroom footage from where I had them both on the witness stand where they said they didn't even know me. So if you don't know me, then why the hell are you stalking me, dumbasses? I would love to have that camera footage too. That was hilarious, where they both sat on the witness stand and said they didn't even know me. But you're having me arrested and you're stalking me? But now under examination, you're saying you don't even know me? Oh, I would love to have that too. Bicycle stalkers.